Hi everyone, I'm Polly Hendrickson with the Ice Resin Creative Team and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can use ice resin as a glue and a sealant for natural things like seashells and sea glass. Now most everybody knows what a great product ice resin is, but they don't realize that it can be used as a glue. As a matter of fact, it is one of the best glues out there and the strongest glues out there for jewelers to use. Of course, it can also be used in mixed media projects, but it can bond metals, ceramics, glass, metal clay pieces. There's so many options, um, both for jewelry making or mixed media. So let's get started. I've already mixed some ice resin, and I really like to use a toothpick when you're working um, with the smaller beads and, and gluing them on. I've got a piece of sea glass here, and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly coat it with a um, disposable paintbrush first, and then I'm going to pick up a rhinestone and add the ice resin, just a drop. And what that does is it allows you to put the ice resin pretty much right where you want it. And then you can stick the rhinestone in the spot that you're hoping to put it in. There we go. And if it moves around a little bit, it's okay. Just move it until you get it right where you want it. I have made another piece of um, sea glass here. I put the word delight on it and added a little rhinestone. So that's a fun little charm. And I'm going to do one more sea glass piece. Again, I'll coat the sea glass with the ice resin. It's really nice because it makes it shiny. And this time I think I'll add some words. I love using words in my work. And um, here's another word that I'll stick on here. This one says dream. And again, just move it around till you get it right where you want it. And then I'm going to go with three little rhinestones. Put a little drop of ice resin on the back of each one with the toothpick. And then move them around until you get them right where you want them. Okay, perfect. Next I think I'll use a shell. And it's kind of fun to paint the shell on the inside. The great thing about the... Um, disposable paint brushes is that they get down in all the little cracks and crevices and then I'm going to add a pearl so it's kind of like an oyster just drop that right in and that looks kind of cool there so you can use these for um, all kinds of purposes sometimes the shells will have a hole in them pre-drilled uh, these are some shells that I got with the hole already added, and you can see I've added the wire to make a little bale. Um, otherwise, it doesn't always happen that way. Um, you can drill a shell, and drill. Um, you have to drill underwater with a special drill, but the great thing about it is you won't inhale any of the pieces of the shell, and it also is um, perfect because it makes the shell not break or shatter. All right, this is a little piece that already had a hole in it. So I'm going to make a quick little bale and show you how you can make a little charm out of it. Just going to wrap it really quickly. You can even use your fingers on this if you want to. It doesn't have to be precise. Although if you want to use your jeweler's tools, that's fine too. And let me just wrap these around, snip them off the wire edges. And there you go. You've got a nice little shell charm hanging from a wire. You could use that for earrings, a bracelet, or a necklace. And the great thing is if you drop it or hit something with it, it's going to be so much stronger now that you've got the ice resin on it. So I hope you've learned some things today and thanks for listening.